Hi everybody and welcome to the making of Cold Contacts. For a long time I wanted to make an action movie in a Norwegian winter landscape. But since there are so many action films on YouTube already, I wanted to make something different and I decided to make an action comedy. Now, when me and my friends make videos like this for YouTube, we usually operate with a very low budget. Even so, there are many relatively easy methods you can use to increase the production value of the film. For example, all the locations are actually right outside my house. When you don't have easy access to good locations, there's a lot of things you can do by using close-ups and creative camera work to hide the true background and create the illusion that you are, for example... We are now deep behind enemy lines. <laughs> right next to my house. It's nice. You can also use actors in different age groups, military costumes, airsoft weapons and other props. All these details combined together create a lot more depth to your videos. But remember, these things look real. You must always notify the police and tell as many people as possible that you are making an action film. Unless of course you want to get arrested. I shot the entire film with my Canon 550D or T2 Rebel, the 24 to 105 L lens and the Rode video mic. In addition, during the whole movie, I actually used a tripod as a steadicam. After we had filmed everything, I imported all the footage into Final Cut Pro directly from the card using log and transfer, and I then started editing. After putting all the clips in the right order, and having added sound effects and music, I chose the clips where I was going to use more advanced special effects, exported them in full quality, and then opened them in After Effects. All the blood effects, explosions and muscle flashes are from the Action Essentials 2 package, which contains a lot of pre-keyed special effects, which you can easily just drag into your footage. The blood splatter is actually powder hits, which I've colored blood red. When people shoot or get shot, I usually remove a few frames to make it look like they are twitching a lot more. The way I did the snowball throw in slow motion was by first filming a snowball attached to a string in front of a green screen. Then I keyed out all the green and put the snowball on top of a clip where I had instructed Joachim to simulate a throw in slow motion. The sniper scope I did by standing on a hill far away and zooming all the way in. Then I added a crosshair and a small fisheye effect to simulate looking through a scope. When I was done with all the special effects, I imported them to Final Cut Pro and put them back in their right place. Then I sent all the clips to color where I usually do all my color grading. I don't really follow any specific rules when I do this, but the colors should in most cases reflect the atmosphere in the film you are making. Like horror movies usually have cold and pleasant colors, and apocalyptic movies are mostly grey and washed out. For action films I usually like to make the shadows colder and the highlights warmer. When I'm done with all the color correction and have rendered all the clips, I send them back to Final Cut Pro. Finally, I add black bars on the top and at the bottom of the video to get the Cinemascope 235 film look. Then I export the movie using compressor. Since most modern internet connections are pretty fast, I like to export them and upload them in very high quality. Then I upload it to YouTube and for me, it's work complete. Work complete. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this. Now, of course, there are always things that could have been better. But this is basically just something me and my friends filmed for a few hours on our spare time. After all, the main reason we are doing this is to have fun. 
Also, you should check out the description where I have posted a lot of links to external websites I find helpful when making movies. Thank you all for watching.